Hello, thanks for watching. This is a quick tutorial on auction coin on the Ergo platform uh, blockchain. Ergo is a proof of work blockchain, which means we secure our network with mining as opposed to proof of stake, which is like Cardano where you use stake pools, uh, where you stake your ADA. Um, let's jump right into auction coin. It's a fairly complicated beast, but um, I think we can explain it for you to understand it better and, and what its purpose is. Uh, so we'll start off by the white paper right here. Um, it lets us know that it was an idea introduced by Kushti on an Ergo form. It was then picked up and used in uh, the recent Ergo hack where they built a fully working model of the auction coin, which is pretty fun to interact with. So what does it do? It does a couple things. Uh, for token distribution, it allows teams who maybe don't want to use ErgoPad in their tiered system, or maybe don't want to use a stealth launch for liquidity pool like Rosen did or Crux Finance did. Um, they want a much more organic kind of price discovery for their token. Uh, and this does this, and we'll get into how this does this. Also, liquidity providing. Um, this automated kind of system where everything's locked into contracts and buyback contracts are working with a liquidity pool um, and adding liquidity um, with the contracts, you can naturally and healthily uh, increase liquidity in your pools uh, via this auction coin method as well. Um, you can also split it many ways, so you could send some of these auction proceeds to the team that's developing, you can send some as a buyback contract, you can send some as a liquidity contract to increase the liquidity pool. And of course, you know, the idea is to avoid dumping your fair launch token onto uh, the, the chain and having everybody else dump it on the liquidity pool. Alright, let's, let's jump right in here. So on the auction coin website, you will see we have a brief explanation of what it is, a link to that white paper that I just showed you, um, when the next auctions are going to start. We have a direct link to the liquidity pool on Spectrum, which is right here. And we have all the current auctions um, that are here and upcoming auctions on the left here. All right, let's dig right in how this functions. We are going to call this uh, our monkey bar token again. We're going to pretend we have a monkey bar project just because I don't want to convolute the conversation by saying auction coin. All right. So let's take it from the start. Let's say that I am um, um, a project developer and I've made monkey bar token 1.0 and I don't want to put it on ErgoPad. I don't want to dump it on Spectrum uh, liquidity pool immediately for people to buy and sell. I want to kind of organically build growth here um, with a liquidity pool and interaction with the investors. So what do I do? First step is I make a liquidity pool on Spectrum with my monkey bar tokens. And remember, depending on the depth you do it, depending on how much you want to designate to each auction and how many of them you do, you need to do that calculation to make sure that you're gonna, you know, have an effect on the liquidity pool when something's purchased or moved or or an auction is purchased and the buyback contract comes back. So you gotta keep that in mind of how that's gonna work. Those have to be fairly in concert with each other. You don't want to pool with a massive amount of debt so that uh, depth so that when buyback contracts are happening, it doesn't do anything. You know, so you, you kinda have to keep that in mind there. Um, so we've done that. We'll we'll lock the tokens in this the spectrum contract. We'll lock both sides, the erg and the um, monkey bar token in. We will then take a remainder of the tokens and lock them into these contracts that are controlling the auctions. So now, as an investor on the outside, I can look at this and say, you know what? I like this monkey bar token because the the liquidity pool is locked and. Uh, everything's locked, the rest of it's locked in a contract for the auction coin protocol. And I know Ergo and I know how simple these contracts are and how bulletproof they are. So I feel pretty confident in engaging in this project in the system. Awesome. So we've gotten that far. So then what happens after you make that liquidity pool is the auction coin protocol comes into effect. What will happen is every couple days, your monkey bar token will be listed on auction house and you can see just like this for auction coins and uh, it will be set to two times the price of the liquidity pool all right and you may be saying okay why why two times that doesn't make any sense well let's go check out an auction here we'll go to we'll go to a hundred auction right here so that we can see our easy numbers okay so you can see right here the last sale of auction coin was at 1.67 erg per auction coin. 
which is higher than what I can buy it for it here. But also watch, let's say I want to buy a hundred auction, um, I want to buy a hundred of them, let's see. I'm going to have a price impact of 3.6% because the pool is not that deep, but I am still under the cost of what it was last auction. So we can assume that the person bought these tokens and they cashed out of the liquidity pool and maybe somebody else cashed out too, which lowered the price of auction coin. Um, we're pretending it's monkey tokens, so monkey bar tokens. Okay, so looking back at this, we can see that the current auction has a buy it now for 244.449 ergs for 100 tokens. That is 2.44 ergs per token. Okay, so imagine this is your monkey bar token. Now it's where the magic happens. Every hour, the price of this auction drops and keeps dropping and just keeps dropping. And eventually it could get to below the price of the liquidity pool over here, right here. And at that point, people are going to snipe it, they're going to buy it, then they're going to dump it back on the liquidity pool and maybe reap a little profit there. Okay, so there are other things that could happen too. Well, let me get into the next step before I get to the other things. So what happens after that, after I buy the auction? As soon as that happens and the contracts are executed, the money that I spent, the ERG, the 244.449 on the 100 auction uh, token, coin tokens that I bought, if I bought it right now, go, some of that goes into buyback of the, of the liquidity pool on Spectrum. So that's a catalyst to increase the price because the money from this auction is then going to buy tokens on the Spectrum decks to change the price a little bit. So then I could sit on the tokens until a couple more people, you know, buy auctions and that buyback goes and it spikes. And then I could jump in really quickly before they could and make a profit. So it's not only about how much you're willing to spend on the way down. It's about how long you're willing to wait on the way up for how greedy you want to be for profit. So that's kind of the gamification of it, um, which makes it really, really unique. Um, so what are we doing here? We are letting the community with these auctions kind of decide the um, organically the price of these tokens and what it's worth. So it could, could go the other way too. You could see, I could say, you know what? I've been paying attention and I've been watching Twitter. It seems like Monkey Bar Token is going to have some sort of announcement in a couple days. And I just know this token's going to spike. So I could just sit on this auction and just get everything 2x and just crank through it and buy it. And that'll increase the price of the Spectrum Dex liquidity pool automatically because all of my auction um, purchases are going back to the buyback contract and those ergs are being purchased um, auction coin on uh, monkey bar token on Spectrum. But the risk there is people could be holding and dumping too. So you got to be careful there. But anyway, I could buy it right now before anybody else did and then wait for the news to come about monkey bar 2.0 or something or they're having a you know a connection with some other token or whatever and then do my selling there after the token spikes kind of thing so there's a lot of different things you can do with this that's really cool from the side of the project where you want to do kind of an organic fair launch of your token and kind of trickle them over you're not limited, I don't think, according to the contracts, you're not limited to how many active auctions you can have. So if you're going to do a big launch, you can have a bunch of auctions happen every couple of days for X amount of hours um, to really distribute for a lot more tokens at once. Um, this is just auction coin. Even though it's an auction coin protocol, they have set up, you know, the actual protocol in working form to, to show you how this works and to play the game. So bravo to the team. It's, it's, a, it's a fantastic concept. It's another amazing way besides Ergopad, besides like a stealth launch like Rosen or a scheduled launch liquidity pool like uh, Crux um, to distribute your tokens fairly to your uh, investors and the community. So bravo. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. I suggest you hop on the Auction Coin app and give it a test and also familiarize yourself with Auction House, uh, which... Part of the contracts and the frameworks by building Auction House really made it easy. Uh, the open frameworks of Auction House and other protocols uh, in the system made it really easy for the Auction Coin dev to put this all together in time for the Ergo hack. That's the beauty of Ergo and the openness. Uh, thanks for watching. Ciao.